Hi, my name's Claire Hodder. Um, I'm currently a freelance consultant. Prior to that, I spent about 15 years managing a team of people who were engaged in selling rights to uh, publications. Um, so I had a smallish team of five to six people, um, but the nice thing for me was over the, about the last six or seven years, it was a very consistent team, a very happy band, um, and I like to think that they were well motivated. I think there are probably several things um, that help to motivate people in the workplace. Um, firstly, you have to be um, engaged in performing a role that suits you and your strengths. I think that's that's key, and you know, hopefully, um, a, a good manager will have recruited the the right person for the right role. No square pegs in round holes. Um, I think you need to have um, an atmosphere in the workplace that's conducive um, to fostering a good work ethic, good um, team spirit. Um, so uh, my personal style is, is to be quite friendly and relaxed and encourage that amongst my team members so that I tend to find that works well um, to keep people um, together. But also I think people need to um, be very focused on, on what needs to be achieved um, while they're at work. So I think it's important to involve team members um, in um, strategic planning um, and goal setting and make sure that everyone um, is very clear about what they're there to achieve um, and what their role is in achieving that target. There were quite a few occasions where we had perhaps a particularly mundane or monotonous kind of job of perhaps thousands of lines of data entry that might need to be done and obviously that's quite a difficult thing to do. So what, one way of doing that was to actually um, just break up the, the the list of lines um, amongst several team members and make it actually a bit of a, a team project, some sort of broke out some time in the day just to focus on that, made it a little bit competitive. So, um, <coughs> and you can do that either with, if you've just got one individual having to plow through a long list, how many can you get through in half an hour, how many can you beat that in the next half an hour, that kind of thing. Um, or you can, if you break the list up between lots of team members, you can kind of race to see who can get the most done in the shortest amount of time, <coughs> always being careful to be accurate, of course. Um, so that, that's, um, that was quite a nice way of motivating people to, to do that particular task. Um, I've had other occasions where, you know, the team may be um, quite stretched and had quite a lot of work to do, but maybe we had requirements for us to participate in external projects as well. So it can be quite hard to get people to take on additional things when they know that they don't really have enough time in the day to just get their main job done. But I found a great way of motivating people to take part in those external projects was to link it back to their own personal development um, and the extra skills that that would give them perhaps to add onto their CV or to help build their um, chances for, for the next promotion. So, so linking back to sort of personal development goals can be quite a nice way of doing that too. I think you've got to really make some time, especially when somebody first starts working with you, to really get to know them and find out about what makes them tick. So more than, um, you know, obviously you need to supervise the work that they're doing, especially in the early days, but also you need to make sure you have time for a casual chit chat and find out about what, what they do in their home life and their social life and things that they enjoy doing. Um, <clears throat> also a bit of observation how they react with other colleagues, with team members from different departments, watch them in meeting situations um, <clears throat> and, and look at what things seem to bring the best out of them. Um, and I think that's really important and I think it's important to do that quite early on, um, but also to do it regularly so that you keep developing and informing um, your your, your um, perspective of somebody um, and I think this can help you decide what's what are the best um, motivational methods to use in getting the best out of that person whether you know you're going to set them a really hard target because they thrive on on that kind of um, incentive kind of scheme or whether you just need to take a more softly softly approach reg you know put in regular milestones and kind of do lots of achievement celebrating and that kind of thing.
Yes, um, I think probably. And um, whereas it, when you're motivating motivating an individual, you can obviously be um, highly personalised in your approach. Whereas obviously when you're thinking about how to motivate the team as a whole, you've got to incorporate lots of different personality types, um, which may be conflicting depending on on the team that you've got. So you've got to find a way of buying them all in. And um, it's quite a nice example that um, I have from uh, when I was last managing a team was when I put together um, a strategy day um, it was important to um, get the team together I'd actually been away on maternity leave and things hadn't gone so well and the team were feeling quite demotivated um, while I was away so when I came back I really wanted to try and galvanize the team um, and get them going again ready for the new year and to deliver their target for the end of the year so I put together a strategy day um, and I themed it around football, which is my passion, but definitely not any of theirs. But in a way, it, that worked really to motivate them to participate quite well because they could laugh at me collectively. So the one thing that they had in common was to be able to tease me about my passion for football and find it funny that I was kind of inflicting it upon them. So, you know, we were able to use that um, in a way to get lots of... Um, really interesting things done in the strategy day um, and what was quite nice was we had a senior director observing the strategy day who commented on not only um, how well it had gone but how well motivated the team seemed and how um, constructive they've been so it came across um, really well.